Do, do, do. Watch me whip. Watch me crochet. Watch me knit, knit. Watch me yay. It's Whip Wednesday. Hey there, Soul Shines. It's Michelle here for Whip Wednesday. A little frustrated because once again, I went to edit and found there was no audio. I think we'll see. I think I've got it fixed so that it will always pick up my microphone when I plug it in. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to go over to the audio thing, make sure it's actually moving. Oh, it's moving. Okay. We're good. So, um, that's a little frustrating. I recorded two videos. I recorded Whip Wednesday because it is Wednesday. It is almost eight o'clock PM on Wednesday. And I had recorded things were making Thursday so I could get it out in the morning and no, no. <sighs> okay, well let's get on with Whip Wednesday. I'm sorry about this little drama moment in my life coming up. Um, what I worked on. So, two things that I worked on this week you don't even get to see today. You're gonna have to come back on Friday. Well, one of them you can come back tomorrow. I've finished two objects. One of them is a pair of slippers. So come back tomorrow to see the finished slippers. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to talk about this little project because I know I've made progress and I'm almost to the point where I decrease. It's so tiny, such a tiny little hat. Um, it's on the DPN, so I, do, I have four goings so that makes a square. And then I have a fifth that of course I use to work. And um, like I said, I have about two pattern repeats left and then I get to decrease. So I'm really excited about this. Um, my goal is to finish this and hopefully make one more hat with a bigger yarn. Bigger yarn goes faster. Um, this is a very tiny yarn, but oh, beautiful hat. Um, so yeah. And then, it's like, could we have more stress? I don't know. Because this also is stress. I don't know what I've talked about where and when. I don't think I talked about this on with Wednesday. I think it happened actually right after, but I may be wrong. I had to undo this. I, not the whole thing, thank goodness, because, well, that would have made me cry. But um, I had to undo all of the yellow parts up here, so I had to go back to the row before the black. Um, so that's a little discouraging. It should be this way. This is the top. Um, but this, I've triple counted made sure that everything is accurate. I'm going to put a lifeline in here, which I use dental floss for my lifeline. So I'm gonna take and put a dental floss thing. It has to go from all the way, even including on the screen side, because the whole point of a lifeline is so that if you have to undo something, um, it's super easy and you don't lose your stitches because the lifeline will go through and hold all those stitches um, so if I have to go back, at least those are. So I know I'm going to put it in here. So I, I know I won't drop them if I have to go back. So like I said, I'm going to put it on the next row and then I will work, I don't know, an inch or two of the pattern again and put in another lifeline just to make sure everything is going well. So a little discouraged, but yeah. I mean, I haven't put it completely in timeout, but I also haven't picked it up for a few days, so it's kind of in time out. It's hard to work sometimes on things that we make mistakes on and keep going. I'm almost to the point where, um, back to the point where I was when I had to undo it. So I think I have like three more rows and then I'll be at that point or something. I don't know. Um, let's see what else is on here. Uh, I can pull out this. This is the 
Well, to balance, I don't know if I've actually worked on this since, cause you know, when you're making so many videos, sometimes it's hard to remember what you've said in each video. But I've got my stitch marker here. This is the beginning of the round. And where's the end? This is where I'm at. I have stitch marker holding that in. I love this because you can't pull it out. Hits there, stays in. Um, and that is about halfway. So um, a couple more sessions, probably maybe even one more session and I will be finished with that clip. Um, earlier in my video, the part you missed, I did go back and look at something. Sorry. Um, I looked at um, what's left. I didn't look at the actual stitches, just like how many rounds in each of the clues. So I have half a round more and then I'm finished with clue nine, which was September. October's clue has three rounds, I think. And November's has four. Those might be flipped. It might be four and three, but that's about where those are. And then there's only two rounds in finishing stuff in this December clue. So I've got eight and a, no, nine and a half rounds left and it's done. Of course, they get to be pretty darn big at this point to go all the way around that thing. So um, my intention is to do a whip for the mystery yarn challenge in February. So if you don't know, Lori the Armchair Chef, she, last year, she's been doing this for more than a year, but she started off with, um, you would say you wanted to participate, you, she would figure out how to divvy up everybody so that everybody was shipping yarn to someone. And then somebody else was shipping yarn to you. So it was a little yarn um, thing where you shipped something out and you received something. And then the goal was to make something using um, a little bit of every single yarn. And then you could do whatever you wanted with the yarn after that. That was the original plan. And it's been a lot of fun. Um, I, that's one of the things I've been working on, but I'm not showing you today is my mystery yarn challenge because I participated in that um, you can go watch I'll put yeah this side I'll go put the reveal of my yarn up here you can go watch that um, and you can see what kind of yarn I got this month and I'm super close to being done with that and that's exciting that was a lot of fun I'm not sure if it will be done for Saturday to have a video or if you're gonna have to wait until the next Saturday so, um, I mystery yarn challenges will be revealed on a Saturday. So it might be Saturday that's coming to this. Today's the 24th. It might be 27th, 28th, no, 27th. My son's birthday is on the 29th. So it might be this coming Saturday, or you might have to wait until the first Saturday in February because that's just how it is. Um, but this year, starting in 2024, she changed things up a little bit. So this year, you could still do that yarn exchange thing, which is what I did for January. But she also has an opportunity where if you're like, I have so much yarn, I just want to send it and then work on whatever you have at home, you can do that. If you're like, I'm in dire straits and I can't send anything, but I want to play, you can be in a receiving mode. I know that she's got some boundaries set for that. Um, cause we don't want to take advantage of people. That's just not fair, but you know, she understands maybe you're the only person in Canada and you want to play, but receiving and sending yarn, you know, from Canada to United States, um, there's a lot of challenges with that. So, um, if there's only one person in Canada, that's kind of hard for you to send out yarn. So, um, and she is always looking for people in Canada if you're interested. Um, then the last option is where you can take one of your own UFOs or whips and that's your goal to finish it. Now, if you don't know, a UFO is an unfinished object. Those are those projects we put in time out. It, for whatever reason, like I have a pair of socks, I kept messing up lots. 
not just like on Caleb's pouch, but like lots. So we got put in time out and then just, there's been so much going on. I haven't pulled those back out. Um, I am hoping to get those done soon. That is one of my goals. Um, but yeah, I was saying UFOs. So that's a UFO and it's something that I put aside. Sometimes I go through my UFOs and get rid of things and sometimes I pull them out and start working on them. A whip is a work in progress, which is what we're talking about today. Things that are in the progress, which is why I don't get to show you my finished things. Come back on Friday, finished Friday. Um, so you can work on a whip or an UFO and finish in the time allotted. And it's not quite, she does them for each month, but her deadline may go into the next month. Like I think this month goes into January, like a week or something. Um, cause it depends on when she sends them out, what's going on. Um, I didn't get my yarn until halfway through the month and she accounts for that and stuff. So it's not, not super, um, deadline-y, but the goal is to get it done by her cutoff date. So my plan for February is to finish that blanket. My plan for this week is to finish clue nine because then that leaves me the three clues and that's my goal is to finish that in February for my mystery yarn challenge thing. Um, I'm hoping that gives me the motivation to get it done. The other thing is, is for things we're making Thursday, January theme is slippers, but February theme, theme is blankets. That's a blanket. So that's like doing double duty, guys. I can be working on that for things we're making Thursday, and I can be working on that for the Mr. Yarn Challenge. It's not as fun as getting a box of yarn, but it's okay. I have plenty of yarn. I have plenty of things to do. I have way many projects, so many projects, so many projects. So it's all good. So um, in that, I have talked about, I have been doing the Mystery Yarn Challenge, and it is a whip. It is in progress. I am on the last piece, and I'm so excited. I will give you a clue. It is an amigurumi. <laughs> and I'm making it up as I go. It's, there's no pattern. It's fun. I love doing that. So um, I will show you, I, and I'll link it here. So I'm linking the tutorial to my slippers pattern. Um, I put that out yesterday. And um, so while making the tutorial, I made a slipper. I need another one. I also need to put a border on this. I kind of talked about it in the video. Um, this makes my feet look so small. But um, I'm going to put a picture here. This is not my daughter's finished object. It's um, I'm going to put a picture, I guess I put my pictures over here, cover the door. Um, it is my daughter's foot and my foot side by side. So even then you can see the difference in the sizes of our feet. So I do have cute little feet, but I'm only five foot one. I'm not exactly a tall person. Um, so this is exciting. So I'm going to put a border here. I haven't decided white or stick with the green. You let me know. And then I'm putting a white pom-pom on here to be Tinkerbell. So I'm excited for that. Put this in the right bag. And that just leaves my stressful frustration project. Oh, I've already talked about those. Yeah, I have a few. It's been a it's been an interesting week. So originally, where is it? I know it's in here. I showed it earlier. Okay, originally for my temperature scarf, I was doing this. And this side looks great. I like it. Oh, if I put this up close over here, here you can see, look, that's purple, guys. It is purple. I promised. I told you guys this was purple. And even then, it doesn't look, it still looks kind of bluish. But um, watch this. Hold on. I'm going to change the coloring really quick. Even more purple, see? It's purple. Okay, I like this better. Um, I still changed it a little bit in editing. I haven't quite figured out. There's probably something I could do in the settings, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna change it. But even then I was never getting the purple. 
Anyway, um, so this side's okay, but when I turn it over, I don't like that. And this is a scarf somebody's gonna be wearing around their neck. I don't like that. Um, so I went back to corner to corner and um, I have, I've done the ends in on the end here, but um, I kind of wait until, sorry, this one. so this one is like just barely down from the edge here. So I wait until I've gone past, I mean, I could probably do this green one, but I still would prefer to get these ones done, these two done before I do, I guess these three done before I do the green one. So I'm gonna try and do some ends in as often as I can, but um, still, but, and this isn't perfect. Like for some reason it is curving. I'm not really sure why that happened. Um, I have a theory. This one doesn't curve as bad, but it still curves. Oh well, but really mostly the, the color changes are look a little weird, which is why I was trying to find something else to do instead, but Oh well. Okay, so we're gonna change this back to that warm light again. Oops. <laughs> okay, warm light again because, guys, there's purple. There is purple in this. Royal blue, royal purple, and a really pretty crayon purple green, like green. I mean, like, these are the, like, solid, these are the colors. You know, when you go get yarn and you get, like, classic green, blue, purple. That's what they are. It has to be way close. If I come back here, it's back to looking blue. Up here by the warm light, uh, yeah, yeah, it's purple. Okay. And so this is what I'm doing. Oh, I'm going to also tell you right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine across. So I'm working up, increasing on both sides. I need to have 12. So three more squares. And then I get to start working it in the rectangle. So um, that's that. So I don't even know which side's going to be the bottom. I mean, like if I wanted to figure it out, I could. And I'm not sure how long that would get because one, two, three, four. Where am I at? One, I'm right here. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. yeah. It's gonna take a few weeks, I think, two or three, three or four, before I get to 12. Anyway, I'm not showing this again until February. I thought about it. I can't do single crochets, like just lines of single crochets, because I still wanna do the high and the low of each day. And I know that my snake for my grandkids, like here's Millie. Millie is made in um, a one weight yarn. So she is, even she is, like I have this much on each hand past when I go like this. Um, so she's almost my wingspan. And she's just a one weight. I just wear her for a second because that's fun, not too tight. Okay, grandkid snakes are made with worsted weight. They're made with the same exact yarn here, this kind of yarn. Worsted, this is mainstays yarn. The red might not be, but the rest is all mainstays value yarn. Um, and my snakes were eight feet long. And if you take off, you know, you have a head and a tail, and you, so you take off this. So um, one round, what, like one line of single crochet um, I would end up with a scarf that was 15 feet long because if I did two colors. If I, even if I do just one a day, that's still seven and a half feet long if it was a single crochet, which is why I'm doing corner to corner. Because I know that it's 61 of these, where is it? Put it away. Um, got 61 of these. And they're probably about an inch. So this is probably going to be a little bit more than five feet. Much better for a scarf, if you ask me. <sighs> That's it. I I know this is a little bit flustered, 
I know that because I'm a little bit flustered because when I look at it, I have had so many things giving me stress on projects that are just not going right or things like that. So there's been a lot going on having the audio and this is was supposed to be editing it right editing it right now, not re-recording it. So yeah. Um, I didn't talk to you about this. I was thinking about it. I this is a sweater that it's a tunic. It's really cool. Um, I'm gonna put a picture up here of the whole thing. And I thought about it, I realized I finished it a year ago. I finished it in January of 2023. I've been wearing this off and on for a whole year. That's exciting, guys. I think that's everything. I think it is. So, remember to let your light shine through your creations, whatever they be, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!